Hi, I'm Michael Linden, the Director for Tax and Budget Policy here at the Center for American Progress. We've heard a lot about our debt recently, and it is an important issue. Politicians like to point fingers, but it can be tough sometimes to figure out what actually happened. So what did happen? What caused us to rack up all this debt? To answer that question, we've got to go back to 2001, which was the last time that the budget was in the black. Now, in January of that year, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office projected a combined total of nearly $6 trillion in surpluses over the following 10 years. But of course, that's not what actually happened. This line shows what really happened. Instead of getting about $6 trillion in surpluses, we got about $6 trillion in deficits. So what happened? How did we get from here down to here? Well, first of all, while the CBO is very good at what it does, it can't predict the future. And in January 2001, it didn't foresee the two separate recessions that occurred. In other words, the economy performed much worse than the CBO predicted at that time. That alone reduced the projected surplus from $5.9 trillion down to $2.6 trillion. Now, a $2.5 trillion surplus isn't as good as a $6 trillion surplus, but it's still not too shabby. But of course, that's not where we are today. So how did we get from here down to here? Well, this gap is the result of new laws that were passed over the last 10 years that changed our tax and spending policies. So for example, from 2001 to 2008, President Bush signed into law a number of new tax cuts. These cuts reduced tax revenue by some $2.3 trillion, enough to all but wipe out the entire projected surpluses. But that's not all. There was also a big increase in military spending as we fought the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And under George W. Bush, spending went up for a variety of other reasons, like Medicare Part D, increased domestic spending like the Department of Homeland Security, and interest payments to pay for all this new debt. By the time President Obama took office in January of 2009, those $6 trillion in surpluses were gone. In their place was a cumulative deficit of $4.4 trillion. Now, stimulus? a variety of other smaller tax cuts and spending increases, and the extension of the Bush tax cuts at the end of 2010 accounts for the remaining difference. So let's ask again, where did all this debt come from? Well, we can blame the economy for about a quarter of it. The Bush tax cuts are responsible for about a fifth. Higher spending under George W. Bush accounts for another 40%. The stimulus is only responsible for about 6% and other policies passed under President Obama make up the remaining 8%. And that is where the debt came from. 